Hello there, Virgo. How's it going, you guys? <clears throat> it's time for your reading. It's really interesting. Uh, somebody asked me, where, where is Virgo? Well, you know, honestly, um, Virgo, I, I didn't think that really anybody really watched me when I did Virgo. So <laughs> I haven't really done Virgo a lot because, you know, I just, I don't, I never get any uh, comments or <clears throat> or, you know, I get a few views, but I didn't really honestly think that anybody uh, actually that was subscribed um, to me um, wanted to hear Virgo. So, <laughs> sorry about that. That's good to know that there's people that really want to hear it. You know, that's the only reason why I haven't been doing them. Um, I have a couple of friends that are Virgos and they suggested that I do Virgo, but they don't even watch it. So... You know, I just figured that uh, <laughs> that's why. Well, anyway, it, it doesn't look like a bad reading at all, uh, Virgo. Not at all. Uh, the first reading you have here is Menez. And Menez is, is um, you know, it can, if you know anything about tarot, um, Menez is kind of like the, um, like the hermit card. You know, you're going within, you're spending time alone, all right? Um, some of you may be feeling, uh, you know, left in the cold about some something. Or maybe it's just a spiritual void. Um, Kanaz also in reverse. This is Kanaz, by the way. And when so Kanaz is in reverse, it could be also that maybe something is ending. All right. And if anything is ending, it's, it's going to be for the higher good. So um, keep that in mind, all right? And this is just a temporary little thing here with k feeling a little bit out in the cold, you know, or kind of feeling maybe spiritually voided or something like that. Um, but, uh, I mean, that, you know... You've got the sun right here, so you can see very clearly, all right? So just kind of like with Menez in reverse, it's, it's telling you to kind of, especially when you have it twice, it's telling you to for sure, uh, you know, go deep within. Spend some time alone. Get away from, from what, you know, whatever, if you can, all right? And spend some time alone, um, you know, uh, I kind of feel that, uh, you know, it's necessary sometimes. And, you know, Virgo, I'm a Piscean, and Pisces love to go into hermit mode. <laughs> so it's like nothing new for me. But uh, this is really uh, uh, good for you, all right? And with the sun next to it, like I said, everything's crystal clear. And, and you have some wonderful blessings. See, see, you have Gable. And this is blessings, uh, Virgo. This is blessings or gifts. And, you know, you are going to see victory. You are. See, you have Kanaz over here in the correct form. And this is victory and success. All right? So although you're feeling, you're feeling maybe a little bit in the cold over here or something... You got some victory and success coming your way over here, all right? For sure. And then uh, it's next to Jera, which is really quite interesting because you have it twice. And uh, Jera is success. It's success through hard work. It's, it's, and it's like, it's positive. It's like, uh, kind of like surprise bam here you go this is like um this has something to do with your money look at this you got the the page of pentacles this is starting something new uh the pages are always start, starting something new um and i see a pentacle there that that kind of tells me money so um you know i think uh First of all, you know, also with uh, with Jera here, it's also indicating, you know, the need for balance. It's right here in the middle of your reading. So it's very, very significant. So um, 
it's calling for a need of, you know, balance. And that's why you have Menez twice, because you really need to go deep within and find the balance that you need to find. All right. Um, yeah. And then with Wong Yu here in reverse, I feel that, um, you know, uh, not to, uh, don't, don't do anything, uh, you know, hasty or anything. Don't, uh, don't make any, don't make any decisions. Don't make any, any, any rash decisions or, or anything like that. Okay. And there could be maybe some sort of a misunderstanding with, you know, maybe somebody in a relationship as well with Wang Yu in reverse. So maybe there's some sort of tension, uh, you know, concerning a relationship as well. And that's another reason why you're going deep within. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, you got some good things coming here. You got some good news coming with the Page of uh, Pentacles. This is good news, so, um, yeah. Let's get you uh, um, one of these Moonology cards. And also, Virgo, I wanted to let you know, I'm going to be setting up a schedule. I haven't done it yet, but um, I'm going to um, start setting up schedules, and I'm going to put it on the front page, and you'll know what day, you know, that I'm going to be uh, doing the uh, your reading. Also, if you turn the notification bell on, you know, you'll know too, but... You keep, I didn't, I really, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize I had somebody watching me that, <laughs> that wanted to see Virgo. Uh, what's going on here with Virgo? Uh, first quarter moon in Taurus, release control. Release control, Virgo, all right? Release control and go deep within. And, uh, you know, you'll find your balance. I, I know it. I see, I see Jarrah here twice, all right? And then look at this at the bottom of the deck. It says, release your blocks. So, I mean, release your blocks, release your control. So this is all about going deep within and finding balance. All right there, Virgo. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And... Uh, and uh, whoever that was that sent me the message, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Well, I'll see you guys again next week. I'm going to be doing the, these every week now. So don't don't sweat. Every, every week it's going to be coming up. All right, Virgo. All right, then. You guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.